Hello, hello my lovely friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take apart a journal that I made that I didn't end up working in and we're going to turn it into something else. So we're going to take this journal that I made for spring and summer. <laughs> oh, that I didn't, I literally didn't do anything in it. So I've already, it was one signature and I've already taken the thread out. Um, I had big ideas about what I was going to be doing in a journal uh, for, you know, June, July and August. And it just didn't happen. I, I totally, I don't know. I just didn't really understand how much time I was going to be spending making all of the Halloween journals. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I just, I, as you can see, I didn't get anything done. So, today's really the first day that I had some time to sit down and think, okay, well, what am, what am I doing with my journaling? I got all this Halloween journals done, I got all the videos done, everything's finally done, and I was getting the itch to really dig in and start doing some stuff for myself that was about cut and paste and gluing and pretty pictures and all that kind of thing. And then I, I found this and I was like, oh my God, I, I didn't do anything with this. <laughs> That's terrible, right? And so I just decided instead of sitting, because at first I thought, well, maybe I should, I should try and work in it and, and fill it and do a whole bunch of things, like sort of pretend and go back and be like, oh, this was in June and this was in July. And, and then I thought, no, that seems sort of silly. Um... Because I'm not, I, I realized that what I was doing was instead of admitting that I sort of quote unquote made a mistake, that I was sort of overcompensating and trying to, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Instead of sitting with the fact that I, I was sort of felt a little bit foolish about all the big ideas that I had and <laughs> having this really weird issue with time and how long I think times, how long I think things should take. But just take it apart and start fresh. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to save this part of the journal. I'm just going to tuck it away and I'll add to it so that come, you know, next spring, I'll have this to work with. Um, and then I picked these pages here that we'll use um, for a much smaller journal. And that's the other thing. Like... I find sometimes I just, excuse me, I have these really big ideas about what I'm going to do and I make these journals and they're huge and they're, but they're not, it's not, it's not realistic and it isn't really what I need, if that makes sense. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just turn the camera on and have a little chat with you guys while I'm figuring out what this is, what this is going to be like and talk about the fact that... <laughs> It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to start over. And sometimes when we don't really even know what we're doing, just to push forward and see where it takes us, right? So I pulled out a bunch of pages that I'm going to add to this, which isn't going to be a lot because um, once I haven't made my Halloween journal for myself yet, but I'm going to at some point in sept eh, early September, so I want this to just basically be a bit of memory keeping leading up to um, Halloween because I do do a lot of things, you know, I, I do, I, like we're, we're the kind of people where we decorate the whole lawn. Things go out at the beginning of September. I'm going to start making scary trees this week. And so, you know, the rest of the summer and the early part of autumn for me is really just about planning and getting ready for Halloween. So I thought this is what I want this journal to do is to document that process for 2024. We'll put some happy mail in here. Obviously we're going to be putting a lot of pictures of the girls in here. And so I don't need it to be big, right? And I don't know what I, you know what it is. I was going to say, I don't know why I always make the journals bigger than they need to be. But I think I just get so excited <laughs> about paper and potential and the possibility of what I can do in a journal. And I just, 
I just run away with myself thinking, oh my God, we're going to do all this stuff. And reality sets in and I'm like, I just don't have the time um, to do all the things that I want to do. It's just a sad fact of reality, right? Like we have to be <laughs> a little bit realistic about what we can manage. So when I was grabbing some, some really just generic papers together, of course, I'm thinking, okay, so we're going to keep this manageable because it's really only going to be, what, uh, four, six weeks. So I don't, I really don't need that much in here. I wanted to keep the colors neutral and I want to, I want to experiment a little bit by, with putting in these these pages like this because I want to be able to glue things and add things onto the side. I'm not even 100% sure yet what that is, but I just have this thing in my brain where I'm like, you know what? I want to I want to experiment with page sizes. And certainly in the in the journals that I make that I sell, I do I do this quite a bit. But if I'm honest, I don't do it for myself that much. So the trick here <laughs> is not to overthink this. And I do want to apologize to Lori because I had talked about I was going to do a series this summer of journals, <clears throat> or sorry, of videos, talking about some of the things that she had sent to me in an email. I'm still going to do that. Um... <laughs> I just didn't get to it as quickly as I wanted to, so I apologize again. Honest to you guys, I don't know what happened. I just I just went like crazy and I worked and I worked and I worked and I had an amazing time and nothing else got done. So here we are, <laughs> starting fresh. And that's the other thing. Sometimes, you know what? Life just doesn't go the way that you think it should go. Just give yourself the permission to say, Okay, <laughs> and start fresh, right? Okay, so already I'm thinking lots of pockets in this journal, lots of photos with just, you know, a little uh, here and there on the, like some writing. This really is about memory keeping. I was going to say, and, and adding some quote unquote junk. Now, I have this vanilla envelope that I wanted to add. But I think, you know what, I pulled out all these papers, but as I'm flipping through this, I'm already thinking, I've got too much. I just really want to keep this simple because I, I there, you know, I'm not gonna wanna work in this after Halloween because I'm gonna be working in a Christmas winter type journal. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, if I put this here, that's eight, nine, ten. That's a page. That is that even going to be too big? See, this is where I get kind of weirded out because I'm like, well, this isn't very much. What kind of journal is this going to be? Right? <laughs> but if I only need it for how many weeks... And this is the other thing, you know, I think that it's important to talk about is sometimes we don't, it's hard, it can be really hard to get started. And sometimes we have an idea of what we want based on the kind of things that we've seen online and the things that we've seen in other videos and, and Pinterest and all those kinds of things. But when push comes to shove, sometimes it's like, ah, like what am I doing and how am I starting? So I guess, again, the thing is to just, not overthink it, not, don't stress, because we stress about a lot of things. <laughs> See, I was thinking, I was, I was thinking at one point I would make a pocket as well. Maybe I will still do that. So a lot of this um, dictionary paper tends to be quite fragile, and I was thinking... I would glue, let's try this, and just make a really fast pocket, right? 
because I do want to I want to do a little bit more with pockets and in my other you guys have heard me talk about how I have my dark journal where all my feel like the journal that I use for all the the hard emotional stuff <laughs> you know that we all have to struggle and wrestle with well we'll just pretend that in the interest of not overthinking, we're just going to pretend that that didn't rip. And so in that journal, what I've been doing with uh, over the past few weeks, because I have been so busy, but I, I do want to kind of um, keep track of, of, you know, some of my thought processes, is I've been writing th thoughts and ideas on index cards, and then I've been shoving those index cards into the, the journal, and then later I take the information on the index card and then I go out and I write on a bigger piece of paper and how my thoughts and feelings about whatever nonsense and crazy stuff was going in my head that day that I was struggling with. So it kind of made me think that it might be kind of fun to try something like that in here but actually fill this journal full of pockets And then just have all kinds of bits and bobs shoved in pockets in this. No, I don't like that. <laughs> in the interest of not overthinking, I'm overthinking. You know what? See, here's my, my thing is that I tend to always put pockets at the front. Here, I'm sorry. I'm not in, in the space here. And I'm thinking, like, I don't want to just do what I traditionally do, which is always just put the pocket in the front. But I've got this pocket. That's boring. Let's put this pocket here. And this way, if I glue or I want to put a pocket on the dictionary paper, at least it's, it's kind of together. That's really... Well, we're going to leave it. I like it better than the man manila one. Okay, so what have we got left over. I still have two of these dictionary pages, which I don't need. Oh yeah, I had this um, this image that I pulled out of a book from Strawberry Shortcake. Look how cute that is. Now I thought if I folded it like that, so we get the full view of the kitty cat face. I have to say, now that I'm doing this with you guys, I'm I'm my mood has shifted. I'm a little bit more excited about because, like a lot of you, I'm sure I tend to be a little bit hard on myself, and I tend to worry about whether or not I'm I'm you know I've got all this paper, I've got all this stuff, and what am I doing with it? And I'm you know, so and that was something else that I wanted to. Another reason why I thought it would be fun to redo this journal was instead of going and printing out paper, which I tend to do a lot, I was like, no, go to the bin and pick out some paper that you've already ripped out of books. Use what you have. And that is going to be a running theme in these journals as we, you know, round out to the end of the year. I really want to talk a lot about me in particular using what I have in this studio because I have a ton of stuff. <laughs> As you guys know and it's not to say that I'm not going to be buying other things but I need to make a concerted concerted effort to dig in and use what I've got okay I think that's it you guys I think it's just gonna be that simple and I'm gonna get creative about pockets I'm not gonna put anything in the middle here because as you guys know um, I like to include owls in my journal because uh, they represent my granny and then the foxes represent my baba, um, my dad's mom and my dad's family is of Ukrainian descent. So mm, now that I've said that, I don't think, oh, I did have, hmm. <coughs> you guys are like, hey. I thought you said, yes, 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 it's true. I did say that, didn't I? I do really enjoy the thicker paper in my journals, I have to say. I'm looking for my, uh, my bone folder. 
So the other thing I wanted to mention was to all of you, thank you for being so patient with me. And I know that there's a lot of you out there that aren't huge Halloween fans. And the last couple weeks, it's been nothing but flip throughs. And so I really, really want to say thank you for being just so understanding about it. And those of you that have watched them, thank you very, very much. I mean, the thing is, I put the, I need to do the flip throughs for the journals. Um, I like that like that. Okay, let's just do it. Um, so that I can add the links to my website so that when people go to the website and they see the journal, and I only have 10 photos on there, there's a link that I say, hey, go to YouTube and, you know, like everybody else in the world does, go to, go to YouTube and watch the flip through. So I had to get all of that stuff up so that when people start looking for the Halloween journals, there's the flip throughs. But I'm sure you guys were like, oh my God, another one. <laughs> so as of today, today is August the 10th. I have one more to put up and then that's it. So thank you for your patience. I'm very, very lucky to have such a lovely and understanding group of women here who get what I'm trying to do and are supportive. So thank you very much for that. Okay, you know what? That's got it. That's got it. Let's see what let's see what it brings. So I've kept the wax thread. So we're just gonna do um, a three hole pamphlet stitch. Now somebody had asked me the a while ago about oh it was Chick. Hi Chick. Um, Nancy's friend Chick had asked me about sewing through the scrapbook paper. And I have to say, you know, sewing through scrapbook paper is, turns out to be ridiculously smooth and it really is easy to do. I guess with a lot of scrapbook paper, you might think, oh, it's kind of thick. It is a little bit, but it's, it's stable. Now, having said that, I probably should just put a couple clips on here. Where's the horrible thing to put? There. And the more that I make these longer journals for myself with the scrapbook paper, the more that I really do enjoy them. I am thinking though this year for Halloween, I'm going to make myself something, well, I say that now, I could change my mind. I was thinking about making something a little bit smaller, but we'll see. I cannot believe that it is the middle of August already. And it's just crazy time I mean this was a whole thing time is just flying by like one day it's the end of June and the next day I'm like it's August <laughs> like what how, how how okay I got hang on I got my thread through that other just pull this out so yes I am going to still be addressing some of the concerns that Lori had about getting started with junk journaling, overwhelming amount of supplies in journaling, and all those sorts of things. We will continue to talk about those things. And certainly, as always, if you guys have any, you know, leave in the comments section if there's something that you would like me to cover or talk about or do. I'm always open to suggestions uh, for videos. Because, yeah, again, I can talk to the cows come home about whatever, but if you guys aren't interested in it, <laughs> then, you know, it's not that fun for me. Okay, so let's just trim this a little bit. Okay, it is not rocket science by any stretch of the imagination, which is part of why I love doing it. Because it's so satisfying to be able to just put these pages together. Bing bang buoy, you got a, a fresh new journal to work in, and there's nothing better. Yeah, I'm glad I added those in. Excuse me. So let's fill this full of pockets. Let's fill it full of pictures of kitties and pasta. <laughs> you guys know how much I love pasta. Uh, just things that make us happy. All right, we are back on the right track, my lovely friends. 
We are back on track. And numbers. Yeah, this is going to be great. I'll put a pocket back here and we'll get some sunflowers in here because it's sunflower season and all of that kind of thing. So I will put a doohickey on the back. Uh, hang on just a sec here. Okay, so I like to use this. This is a Fisker's punch. Um, if I can find a link to Amazon for this, I will leave it in the description box below. But I like to use this one to create a little tab to go on the back of the journal. I just like to give it that little bit of reinforcement for where I'm going to put the, the eyelet. And I got my handy dandy crocodile here. Yeah, we'll talk about overwhelm with stuff and stuff because, you know, there's so much stuff out there. There's so many tools. There's so many gadgets and gizmos and things that we can use that are fun. And they're, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's hard to resist because you see this stuff and you just think, oh, <laughs> I have to have that. I love that. And, you know, I'm guilty as anybody else of buying things and getting all caught up in the, the fever of newness and funness. And then I buy some things and then I don't use them. And then I sit there and then I feel guilty about the fact that I haven't used it and it sits there. So that's part and parcel of why when I was thinking about putting this journal together... You know, I was sort of like, okay, so what is it exactly that I'm going to be doing with this? Am I in? Yes. And why? In the sense that, you know, let's just think ahead a little bit and use some of these papers that we've already got, because I have a bazillion books and pages and papers and, yeah. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. Now let's just get... There we go. Okay, so there you have it. And then we'll just put the elastic here. Make sure you can see me. For those of you that are serious lovers of summer, I'm sorry that your favorite season is coming to an end. I myself am very much looking forward to sweater weather, sweaters, socks, boots. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin spice, I have to admit, but I am looking forward to everything that, that comes with autumn, for sure. Okay, there you have it. That's it. That's good. That's good. Okay, thank you everybody for watching the video with me. Thank you for spending this time with me. Um, you guys know I always say uh, the gift of time is one of the greatest gifts we can give each other. So I really do appreciate you spending time with me. And I'm looking forward to working in this with you in the coming weeks. So enjoy your day, your week, whatever's going on with you. As I always say, speak kindly to yourselves. Enjoy your journal process. Um, don't be mean to yourself. And if you need to start over, take it apart and start over. Okay. Talk to you soon, everybody. Mwah. Bye.